Hello, Dr. Kameka Baylor here. I'm here to go over a topic that comes up quite often for me. Nearly every day someone wants to know or understand about protein shakes. Um, and they ask, which is the best protein shake to get? And a lot of times when they're asking the best, I want them to clarify, what do you mean when you're saying best? Are we talking about the best tasting? Are we talking about um, the best nutrients, the best um, quality? Are we talking about um, uh, the best ingredients? Um, are we talking about how well it's tolerated? And are we talking about the sugar content or um, the source of the protein? So there's a, those are the factors that I like to consider when I recommend a um, protein shake. Um, I really would like to put at the forefront of um, the selection of why we choose a specific protein shake. I would, I would like them to look at the uh, amount of protein that is in um, the supplement or in the um, powder or in the um, pre-made shakes. Um, first, check the amount of um, protein that, that's in it. Um, if how many grams of protein and if it's where you're supposed to be um, most times you're supposed to um, get a larger amount of protein in the beginning and then because you're going to be getting all your protein from um, liquid source or um, uh, shake supplement and then later on when you graduate you'll try you'll get some solid uh, foods and you can have some uh, animal protein or plant protein that you're going to get with your food. So right now and the first thing we want to look at is the amount of protein that is in the supplement. Then um, after that you want to look at how much sugar is in the supplement. We like to stay on the lower side of sugar or sugar free the lowest amount of carbs as possible to avoid um, dumping syndrome and then after that I like for my patients to consider what are what other vitamins are added in so what is it fortified with does it have vitamin D does it have some B vitamin look look what other kind of supplements are also added to the um, the, the, the protein shakes um, if you're getting your minerals um, and exactly what minerals they're adding in and what um, vitamins they're adding in and how much will it be enough for you to have uh, your daily recommended amount and then I like to go to taste after that then we can consider taste um, because taste is important because if it doesn't taste well it, the likelihood of a patient taking or drinking their protein shakes consistently is low or it's not as good as it should be. The outcome doesn't come out as good as it should be because um, this is something you'll be doing for the long haul of your life, for most, the majority of your life moving forward. And you, people kind of get uh, tired of shake and tired of different flavors and tired of texture. So taste does matter to help us keep consistent with um, our daily doses of this uh, supplement. And then after that, we want to check on our stomach. Okay, are, are you able to tolerate it with, um, for your stomach? We already talked about sugar, too much sugar, dumping syndrome. Um, also, you might want to consider if you have um, indigestion or if you have um, uh, if you have um, intolerance to milk or even a lot of flatulence going on you want to check on the ingredients and, and check it out and see if it's going to be something that it will bother your stomach or you sample some and it's bothering your stomach and you, you just is not working well for you and you're having to go to the restroom a lot um, and it's just pain or a lot of more gas you're having more reflux then that's not the one for you we're gonna go back and check and see what is causing that in that shake and we're going to stay away from that okay so we'll change the uh, shake after if it's bothering your stomach 
And then lastly, um, um, the quality of the ingredients that's in there. Um, that does matter because it also like with your stomach, you want to get the um, absorption inside of you that um, that it'd be worth it to take these shakes. And you also want to look at how many additives are in there. Like when you turn the label around, if you see a lot of names that you can't pronounce and you um, don't know what that is and uh, you're kind of unsure what is all of that, especially if you're trying to avoid a lot of processed foods, you might want to check with your doctor and see um, if this protein shake will be okay if you see a lot of um, things you don't recognize in the back. Um, they might say, oh yeah, that's okay, that's just a chemical name for this. Or they may say, oh, this has too many of um, chemicals, I, I'm not sure exactly what that is. So um, they might not recommend for you to take that. Uh, a lot of times uh, if you're getting some from maybe like uh, the health food store or the vitamin shops or things like that, they may have something in there like fat burners and different kind of stuff like that and you really don't need that right now. So if you see something with a lot of additive ingredients uh, and it's like some things you never heard, you never seen, um, ask your doctor if it'll be okay or your nutritionist, your dietitian. If it'll be okay for you to take that um, supplement okay and that's when you're looking at any other supplements whether it's the protein shake the bars um, they have some protein water and things like that you want to make sure you're reading the labels so first we're going to look at the amount of protein that's in the shake then we're going to look at the amount of sugar that's in the shake and then after that we'll consider what is it fortified with how much vitamins does it have in it um, what minerals and we'll want to kind of gauge and see if that's enough for your daily recommended or if you how much more you will have to supplement okay and then after that we'll look at if it's okay for your stomach if it's ingredients that'll be okay for your stomach if it has um uh milk protein that you can't tolerate or maybe some animal um i'm sorry some protein based products may cause you some flatulence and gas and reflux so you want to see what's in it and then sometimes you have to try it before you know if that will work with your stomach or not but if it's giving you problems we won't continue with that one and after that we'll consider taste because taste is very 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 important for the consistency or the diligence that the patient goes in uh take these protein shakes every day and then finally we'll look at um we'll look at the quality of the ingredients that they're putting in there so some brands are known for better quality um some some brands put more fillers and more um other kind of chemicals in there and and different additive things and we want to kind of stay away from those especially in the beginning stages you don't want too much uh additive things um and especially if you're trying to stay from away from processed foods um make sure you read the back of the label it is hard for a bypass per uh, a bariatric patient um that's all all the surgeries not just gastric bypass um to avoid processed foods altogether because of the protein need okay um, we, especially in the beginning, are not able to get uh, enough protein through our regular diet with uh, uh, meat and um, vegetables and um, things like that. We're not able to get enough just from that, so we have to supplement it because otherwise um, it's harder for us to digest the, the meat and some of the, um, the vegetables high in protein. And so we're not getting enough in, so we have to do the process um, formulations. And then as you graduate, you'll try to use less of the protein shakes and get more of your um, protein from your diet. But all in all, most times you, most people still have to take, uh, have to um, get some protein shakes. Um, maybe not as many as in the beginning, but you'll probably have to be taking protein shakes at some point 
um, or some time of the year or sometime with it, what's going on with the doctor checks your level your levels or how you're feeling or you know you're not getting enough protein now you'll probably always have some protein shakes on hand for the duration of your life okay so that was what I wanted to say about the protein shakes so taste is very important but it's not the only factor that we need to consider it is a very important factor for being consistent with taking your protein shakes and I like to compromise with my patients this way so it's more important that you get the protein shake in you so if it's so bad tasting that they're not going to uh, take it at all um, then I like to compromise and say maybe we raise the sugar content a little bit so it'll be more tolerable not too much that we'll go into Duffin syndrome and just enough that you stay within your carb allowances just so you can get the protein that you need down because protein is very important for wound healing and um, all of the stress that your body is going under after you have surgery is helping you to heal so you especially want to get the protein in that's why the doctors stress it that's why the dietitians stress it so much because it's helping in your recovery process so that is what I like to do. You can discuss with your doctor, dietitian, nutritionist, if that would be something that would be okay that that would oh, consider doing with you. Um, and especially if you're under a, um, a sugar restriction because of a metabolic disorder or you know, diabetes or something like that. And you wanna talk to them first. But that's what I do with my patients because to me, I'd rather you have it in you than lying and saying that you have been taking a protein shake than you have it. So be very honest with the doctor. This tastes really bad and I cannot tolerate anymore. So um, so that they can give you some alternative, we can do some workarounds. And, and then we just want you to be the healthiest you can be. So be honest with us about if you're taking your supplements so that we can give you a fair assessment and recommendations okay so i hope that answered a lot of questions so as far as the brands go i will talk about those in another video i'll tell you what um was popular in the industry and was recommended by dietitians nutritionists um, doctors and pharmacists and then um I'll list the top 10 that way and then I'll talk about what's more popular in retail so I hope that answered your question about what protein shakes you should get it needs to be some other things besides taste goes into it some very uh, very important um, things that have to go into your selection it's not just taste okay I hope you understand that so thank you for um, watching this video and if you have any more questions feel free to put it in the comment box if you um, want to add uh, anything else to this I can um, a video on uh, another question about shakes um, feel free to put um, it in the, um, the comment box I um, have counseled on uh, nutrition for so long and uh, being in the um, uh, at pharmacists they bring everything to you and ask a question so I have a a, a lot of um, workarounds for my patient just to help them stay consistent so if you have any questions it's not nothing too odd um, we'll ask and we'll try to help you um, get some answers to those okay so thank you and have a good night